This month marks a whole year since COVID-19 shut down our world and changed our lives forever. For most students around the world, March 13th was the last normal school day of the year. The world had no idea what was going to happen next. COVID-19 began as a simple cell in Wuhan, China. Soon enough, it managed to make its way throughout Europe, the Americas, and the rest of the world. It changed the way that millions of people lived. After its first few peaks in early 2020, COVID speared its way into the public's eye. After seeing China's major lockdown, public health officials across the world urged mask mandates and lockdowns to be mandatory. On December 11, 2020, the U.S. faced its record-breaking amount of cases, around 60,000 cases in one day. Though the amount of cases per day are getting better, more and more deaths are being reported. 100,000. 200,000. 300,000. 400,000. The death toll from COVID-19 has now passed 500,000. More than half a million Americans lost to the pandemic. In February of 2021, the U.S. has officially hit more than 500,000 COVID deaths. In March of 2020, CPHS reporter Gigi Munez interviewed fellow CPHS students about what they thought about COVID a week before spring break. Here were their thoughts. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal, but it seems like it is becoming one. Really, our priorities as a nation right now are out of whack. It's overrated and I think people are freaking out about it. It's just the flu. In November of 2020, news of two developing COVID vaccines emerged. These vaccines were products of years of cancer cell research turned COVID-19 research. After months of waiting, the vaccines finally arrived. Moderna and Pfizer were the first and Johnson & Johnson followed their footsteps. 31.5 million people have been fully vaccinated in the U.S. This is a big step in defeating the virus and going back to normal life. After a full year of battling the virus, dealing with quarantine, mask wearing, social distancing, and vaccinating, we can finally say that things are getting better. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We must remain vigilant, act fast and aggressively, and look out for one another. That's how we're going to get ahead of this virus, get our economy going again, and get back to our loved ones. If we keep our heads up, there may be hope for normal life by this summer.